what I wore this week that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you are interested in what I wear during the week, consider subscribing and let's get started. My outfit of the day is a top and pants that I have designed, patterned and drafted. You may have seen this before. Um, it's a pouchette that's probably about 18 months to two years ago. Um, so I'll put a link to that video where I talked about what I did about, I can't remember, it's so much a long time ago. I don't think I showed you how I made it, but I went through some detail about the design process that was involved in making this top. So I've got a matching scarf and I didn't actually intend to wear it with a polar neck underneath. So I've got a black polar neck underneath. So it was quite a tight fit, but comfortable. I can move and that's the most important thing. And yeah, I'm kind of liking it. And let me just show you, I've got the scarf behind me. So you can see that it's asymmetrical and I've got these very thin elastic straps going on here. And I've also got it down the sides of the top as well. So yeah, I would have been showing some flesh if I didn't have my black polar neck on underneath this, this top and I'm just wearing it with some bootleg pants and yes you've seen these before as well so um been wearing my leather coat i've been referring to as a jacket <laughs> all last week um i'm strangling myself here with the scarf let me just do this again yeah so put the scarf in this way and bring it forward just let it do its own thing. And I've got my black long necklace on, my gloves, my gloves. I've got this drappy effect on there as well. So that kind of carries through with my top. And the jacket, coat, leather coat. I don't know why I keep them calling my leather coat a jacket. And vintage leather coat. Yes, fitting all nice and snug. And I'll be using this bag. And that is my outfit for today. Let's just pull my hair out. So it's got a black band on my hair. And that's it. Reason I said to put it on. Um, 
then the pants is, yeah, I've made the pants, and they're quite old pants actually. They are, they are a wool mix. And how long have got these? Oh, I, can't, I just can't remember, it's, it's been that long. It has um, a, 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 a tape down the side, I forgot, is it erasers kind of pants? I can't remember what they call them these days. And um, some shoes. I'm going to be wearing my leather coat and a small bag and some gloves. So before, yeah, I think I've been the camera down now. I've got my coat on, so you can look what my pants look like. So there, you got a better view of my blouse. So I've took my blouse. The blouse is it, it's in more. It's half tucked literally. <laughs> the front, <laughs> the front of it is totally tucked in, and the back is out and here are the stripes and the satin stripes. I didn't actually stitch this down it was um, glued on because I was too lazy <laughs> back in the day as they say um, but no um, yeah it, it works <laughs> I haven't worn it that often though and I've got um, a, a, my belt on this is the hairy belt and I've got a video tutorial if you want to know how to do belt loops and I've put that in the description below and I'm just wearing some shoes. So my leather coat. Turn back puffs. So, yeah, so make this out. And this is the bag that I am wearing today. I'm going to put that cross body. Like so. Now, before I do my little walk again, I just want to say thank you for your comments and questions. And I've got a question <laughs> this. Um, to share with you the answer to this this week and it is um, from a subscriber saying I must have lots and lots of closets for all my clothes <laughs> I don't I only have between me and you one yeah one closet and it really isn't that big and I've got shelves which hold all my knitwear my big chunky cardigans and jumpers and what happens is, in order for me to keep on top of what I am wearing, and I do have um, a couple of spaces where I do have my jackets, because I do have, um, not a big collection, but I don't think it's a big collection, um, of my jackets, um, jackets that I've made, and I've bought, and men's jackets as well, my hair is in my way, and yeah, they're, 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 they have a separate rail for themselves, because they're, you know, a lot of them are natural fibres and I need them to hang well. So, um, the answer to the question is, I don't, I wish I did though. Um, yeah, and the only answer to that is that I'm saving for a bigger house. <laughs> so that I can have a massive walking wardrobe because at the moment I've only have a tiny walking wardrobe which is a spare bedroom that we take, turned into a walking wardrobe and yeah, you know, it's very small. But what I, what I do, because I'm um, you may know that, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the UK and um, we have different seasons, so all my summer stuff is all packed away. Or I roll them up and then I put, pack them away in the boxes and up in the loft. And then, you know, as season changes, you just bring them up and down, up and down, up and down. But I'd love them to be all like, you know, like imagine all my blouses, my skirts, my jackets. Oh, yeah, one can dream, eh? Anyway, going back to what I am wearing, but thank you very much for your questions. So if you have any questions you want to ask me, please do relate to fashion sewing. 
and you know the topic of fashion and the topic of sewing and yeah styling and things like that so i've got my job my uh bag crossbody it like so it's a silver a black beaded bag which i love and really goes well with my vintage leather jacket so that is my look for today so my outfit for today matches the weather it's great <laughs> so i'm laying up with my knitwears so i have made the pants they are also great with a black waistband and a tie detail to one side the Knitwear is a pearl neck, a cropped lighter grey cardigan with lace detail and a longer grey cardigan that comes just above my knees and I will be wearing gloves but this time they are grey. So I put my grey gloves on to match my grey outfit. it's a black waistband and the and I picked up there's like light grey and black in the pants and I've got a double welt pockets and yeah I think it's really cute the straight pants I'm wearing it with my ankle boots So I will be teaming it up with my vintage leather coat. Oh, there we go. And I've got the same bag that I had yesterday. Because of the black and the silver that's in there. And I wear it crossbody when I've got my leather coat on because I think that it looks cool that way. Yeah, it looks it looks apart, let's say. And then when I'm not wearing my jacket, then I'll just wear it over one shoulder. But that is my look for today. morning fashion service my outfit for today is a jacket and a pair of pants polar neck jumper so i've got a deep chocolate polar neck jumper and a scarf which has little tassels and fringing at the edge So I've teamed that up with my jacket with root sleeves and a pair of pants that are, you've seen these pants before, I've worn these several times, which is a yay. And yeah, that's it. So I'll bring you down in a moment so I can show you the rest of my outfit. So I just want to show you these cute bow details. How cute are those? They're all individual in their own right, so they're not uniforms, which I love. Yeah, I did these myself, I create these little bows myself. So I've got pockets on these, pockets here and pockets further down as well. The sleeves are rouge so that you can see whatever I'm wearing underneath, whether it will be a blouse or, you know, in this case, a polo neck or a jumper or a cardigan. And I've got so I'm a bit jingly today, so I've got my bangles on. Got a few on there and one on the arm. Oh, big hair, big hair day. It's a colourless, well no, it's a standing collar. Standing collar, yeah. And I'm going for this bag, which is a corduroy bag. 
and I'm going to be wearing some gloves, these gloves, these are deep chocolate gloves, which have got lots of fur inside, oh, to keep my hands nice and warm. So I'll put those on, and I've got a bright reddish type lipstick on as well. And yeah, that's going to be my outfit for today. So my sleeves are kind of three quarter length, but they are ruched up. That's the way I designed it and sewn it. And I like the fringing that's happening with my scarf. It just adds another dimension. I've also got my necklace on, and you've seen this a few times. So this is this marbly fet chocolate necklace in a love heart shape. As you can see my details of my bows. Oh, so cute. The jacket is um is uh, tweed. So we have lost. And this fit is and it's got it's got like a hook and bar fastening to the front, but I very rarely do that because I like the scarf to hang its say, as they say. And these pads, as I said, you've seen them several times before. I've just got a belt on, and yeah, that's it. That'll be my look for today. Oh, and I'm just wearing some court shoes as well. Some brown shoes. And if you're carrying my bag in my hand like this, I would not be close though, of course. have a question I want to ask of you and please put your comments in the or put your answers in the comments below and that is how many closets or wardrobe or if you have a walk-in wardrobe do you have so I've answered that question I think was it on Tuesday or Wednesday and um, because it was a question a subscriber sent to me so I just put that information out there so I'm interested in how many you have and how many clothes do you have, refashion projects. So put all that information in the comments below and I will see you next time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed what I wore this week. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications of when I upload.